In this video, I will show you how to convert feet decimals into feet, inches, and fractions of an inch. To do this, you must be able to read a tape measure in inches proficiently. You must master fraction addition and subtraction, and you must be proficient with multiply, with uh, adding, subtracting, and multiplying decimals. Now, if you recall in the previous uh, video where we uh, converted uh, a measurement, a linear measurement from feet inches and fractions of an inch into feet decimals, we ended up with something like seven feet two and a quarter inch and it was converted and was 7.1875 feet in decimal format feet inches format decimal format here I pulled up the engineers tape and the uh, feet inches uh, feet inches tape side by side where we can verify the previous calculation let's just zoom in a little bit somewhere there where seven foot two inches is uh, visible there so if I line up the tapes a little better something like that you can see that both tapes line up at the seven foot mark like so spot on and seven foot two inches and a quarter is here where the pencil ends seven foot two and a quarter is there according to our calculation this must line up with 7.1875 let's see if it does indeed 7.1 is here, 7.1.1, 1.2, 7.15, 16.17, 18.18, 18. and 7.1875 is somewhere here, because that's 7.19, so it's somewhere here. And what do you know? 7 foot 2 and a quarter is right there, lining up with the decimal amount. I'm just gonna get rid of it and uh, we can indeed verify that seven foot two and a quarter inches is the same as seven foot one and uh, one point sorry seven point one eight seven five there lining up okay so our calculations were spot on now how do we do it backwards how do we go from starting with a decimal and ending up with feet and inches. Let's start with zero feet, sorry, with uh, 0 0.333, everything is repeating feet. What do we do with it? Well, we're gonna have to reverse all of our steps that we did in the previous conversion. First off, we have to multiply this number by 12. Why 12? Because there are 12 inches in a feet and this number was produced and resulted uh, after a inches number was divided by 12 so we must get it back the same way we must start with multiplying by 12. 0 0.333 we're gonna do it on a calculator it goes faster we'll go 0 0.33333 I'm gonna fill the display we'll times it by 12 and we've got 3.99999 now because I truncated the decimals there the decimal 333 3 was truncated I got back 3.999 but if it's not truncated if it's continuous you will get back 4 exactly 4 inches it is 3.9999 as is but it is one third of a foot. One third of a foot multiplied by 12 times is gonna be four. It's one third times 12 equals 12 over three, which is four dead on, not 3.999. That's why it's important 
and uh, you know what you're doing with fractions and decimals as well so the answer is four four inches zero feet and four inches is the answer 0 0.333 feet is zero feet and four inches the same principle of multiplying by 12 applies let's see a little more challenging one or a little more challenging next next stage in the journey how about what do we do with two point eight three three repeating decimal two point eight three feet what do we do with it how do we make feet and inches out of it first off we have to subtract the two and work with the decimal only because the decimal was produced uh, by converting the inches the 2 is already a partial result it's a 2.0 feet and it's a 2 feet and it gets written down as a whole number right away the 0.83 then needs to be multiplied by 12 to come up to a total of 0.833333 must be multiplied by 12 and that equals 9.999 now given the nature of multiplying decimal numbers uh, we can call this one 10 inches dead on and I'm right rounding up only an infinitesimal small amount so the answer is 2 feet and 10 inches Let's do one more of this kind. How do we convert, say, 17, oopsie, 17 point, 17 point, uh, feet into feet and uh, inches. First you have to subtract the 17 and then work with the decimal number and the 17 gets written down as a whole number there there's your 17 feet right away and then this decimal was produced by a whole number divided by 12 so we have to multiply by 12 and uh, 0 0.416 oopsie 416 0 0.416 and I'm just gonna fill the display with sixes to uh, get a more accurate result you can see it was done by five inches when it's multiplied by 12 the result is five there because it's 4.999 and it was 17 feet five inches now how do we do this when we have Do we do this when we have uh, fractions of an inch as well? Let's do say seven point three eight zero two zero eight. How about that number? That many feet equals how many feet? how many inches and what fraction of an inch same stages subtract the seven and then you have you work with the decimal only and this decimal came out of a division when a whole number was divided by 12 so we multiply by 12 0 0.3 0 0.2 0 0.8 multiply by 12 equals this number is important here in this format 4.562496 so here the 7 is already part of the final answer here the 4 is part of the final answer 4 inches and that's the meaning of that 4 now you have to subtract 4 inches and work with the decimal portion only 2496 and uh, lastly it was this number was produced 
by a whole number divided by either 2 or 4 or 8 or 16 because it was either a half, a quarter, an eighth or a sixteenth. I'm gonna multiply it by sixteenth and if it's got an even number we can reduce it uh, if the result is an even number we can reduce it to lowest terms. So on a calculator I'm just gonna subtract 4 out of the previous answer and I've got the decimal answer there multiplied by 16 and it's an 8.999 and that we can call a 9 16th 9.000 therefore the answer is 9 16th and that gets written down here 9 16th so the uh, decimal 7.380208 feet is the same thing as 7 feet 4 inches and 9 sixteenths of an inch. Let's do one more of this. Just to make sure you uh, fully understand the inner workings of this here. Let's just get a new sheet of paper there. And let's convert 6 point 447916 into into feet and inches this is how we do it subtract the 6 the 6 is already part of the answer so you can write it up as 6 feet and the decimal you have to work with 447916 you have to times it by 12 first and come up with an answer and that will be 0 0.447916 times 12 equals that number write it down 5.374992 the whole number part the 5 is part of the answer it's 5 inches and some left over now you have to subtract the 5 and work with the digits, the decimal digits only, 992, and let's see how many sixteenths it makes by, sorry, by multiplying it by 16. On the calculator, I'm just going to subtract the 5, and, it, and there we have all our decimal digits, and just times it by 16. And I got 5.999, 5.999, which is the same as 6. So the answer is 6 sixteenths, which can be reduced to 3 eighths. So that 3 eighths gets written down there, part of the final answer. So 6.447916 feet equals six feet five inches and three eighths that's how it's done but you know what since you're asking let's verify this one on the tape measure here we'll just find six feet five inches six feet five inches is thereabouts five inches and three eighths is there let's just zoom in a little closer so you can see where the three eighths is 5 inches and 3 eighths is 1 eighths, 2 eighths, 3 eighths is there. And it should line up with the 6.447916 mark. 6 feet 4, 6 feet 4, 4 is there because that's 6.40, 6.41. 6.42, 6.43, 6.44. So this is 6.4479. I'm just going to round it up for reading the tape measure as 6.448. And 6.44 is here. And just hold it together like so. 6.44 is there, and 6.448 is somewhere there. And indeed, it does line up with 5 inches and 3 eighths there. There is the 3 eighths mark, and there is the 
448.448 mark there on the decimal scale so that's how these conversions make sense and that's how these conversions uh, are done practice it until you are proficient with both of these